Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be wearing my headphones for this because I'm kind of like trying to make sure that the sound is good, so that's gonna be a thing. Today's video is gonna be a fun one. I've been doing a lot of the same old, same old when it comes to eyeshadow looks, kind of basic stuff. Oh, I grabbed the wrong palette. Uh, but today I wanna to do something a little more fun, a little more graphic. So I'm going to be doing a very graphic um, kind of pumpkin themed, pumpkin patch, pumpkin picking themed eye look um, with some graphic liner. I haven't tried them yet, so I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm going to use these water activated liners that I got from the Alien Cosmetics old branding box that I technically got for free. I just had to pay for shipping. Uh, if you don't know, Alien Cosmetics is Unearthly Cosmetics. It's just they have updated their name. The old name was Alien. Um, but it's the same brand, so this is not available anymore, this particular product. But that's where I got this from. Let me grab the other palette that I was going to use. Hold on. I wasn't even 100% sure that I was going to be able to film tonight. If you have been watching, you might be aware that things are maybe not the best for me right now. And so, I don't know, I wasn't sure that I was gonna be able to do this tonight, but uh, I'm just gonna make it happen. It's already pretty late, so I'm gonna just get right into it. So for this pumpkin eye look, I'm gonna be using Orange You Glad from ColourPop, which is one of their monochromatic nine pin palettes. And I'm also going to mix it with Wild Child, which is another one of their monochromatic palettes. It's like the deep brown palette. Let's just get into it. Let's just do this thing. I'm going to grab my singe brushes because theming and all. Oh, I don't know how clean these bad boys are. Like, look at this one. This one's like black. What the heck? I need to properly wash my brushes. That's not coming off. Oh gosh. I hope that I can use this one. It's not coming off of my hand either though, so maybe it'll be okay. I'm just gonna get started with laying down some orange from this beautiful palette. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna start with this one. It's a little bright for what I'm trying to do. You know what, maybe it's too bright. I'm looking at it and I'm like, I think it's too much. We wanna keep those pumpkin vibes. So let me start with <laughs> Rise and Grind over here. I think that's gonna be the one that is gonna go best with the pumpkin vibes that we're trying to achieve. And I'm gonna just put it in my crease. I'm gonna deepen up the outer part of the lid and crease with those brown colors, but I just wanna bring this orangey goodness. Oh, see, there is some black coming out of this brush now. I don't know why it wasn't coming off on the color switch. It's fine, we'll just ruin everything right off the bat. Maybe I'll just use a different brush if that's gonna be the case. This one doesn't seem to have any black in it. This is the slightly smaller one, the e uh, EO5 from Singe. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, so now there's like darkness there that I didn't want to have there. So that's fun. I'm gonna have to attempt to kind of brighten that a little with probably a lighter shade from this palette. So if you don't know, Singe is Angelica Nyquist's brand of brushes and they're so good for hooded eyes. They're literally so freaking good. They're like small and precise. Perfect, perfect for hooded eyes. I don't want to spend too much time on the shadow portion, by the way, because there's going to be quite a bit of other stuff going on with this look. So, okay. Oh, by the way, on my lips, I'm wearing the Unearthly Cosmetics Lip Liner 
on the edges of my lips and then I used the brown one from Unearthly by the way I don't remember what it's called I think it's like is that one called char I think it might be called char and then on the inner part of the lips I'm using an orange lip liner from Colourpop definitely don't remember the name of that one um, let's go in with Sunkissed on the inner part of the lid Okay, I guess it's not going to matter that much if this is a little bit of a murky look. Because I want it to be very, like, earthy and grungy and pumpkin patchy. And the most important thing is going to be what I end up doing with the graphic liner. That's what's really going to make it cute. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of dark in this brush as well. So, this is not coming out exactly true to color. The gloss that I'm wearing is, I think it's called like Money or something from the Sephora collection. It's a really nice gloss. I would highly recommend. I don't know, I don't know what brush to use now because all of these seem to be so dirty that I can't even clean them off with the switch. I'm gonna take this tiny little ColourPop brush the E20 and I'm going to take Zested which is this nice light matte and I'm just going to gently put that up top here and just kind of soften this kind of blend it upwards to the brow Again, this part isn't super important. I'm just trying to, I didn't want to like do this part off camera. Cause I felt like people would want to see what I did. Like in terms of the eyeshadow to like get the look. But like, I don't know, you tell me. Do you think that this is helpful? If you're watching me struggle with these eyeshadows right now. I don't know why I'm struggling so much. Just having uh, an unusually rough time. I mean, it is turning out. It is nice. It's just a little strange. <laughs> okay, I think that's gonna be it for the mattes from that palette. I think I'm gonna move into the Wild Child palette for the rest of the mattes, and then I'm going to use some shimmers. Ooh. Ooh, I like this uh, kind of warm brown here called Ground Crew. Um, but I want to make sure I really deepen it up with one of these other mattes down on the bottom of the palette. Huh. Let me take, I'm going to go back into my, my singe brushes, my dirty singe brushes. It won't matter as much now because these are going to be more intense, deeper colors anyway. I'm going to take Ground Crew, which was that very kind of warm brown, and I'm going to take it out here. Beautiful. That was definitely the right decision. That's really nice. Okay, I'm kind of like going right up to the brow. Look at that drama. Okay, that was easy. I'm gonna do that on the other side. This is this shade is really really nice. Like it performs really nicely. It applies really really nicely. It's like really pigmented. It blends really nicely. I always do a worse job on the left side when it comes to like blending it up. It always ends up like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I look a little villainous right now because I have like this intense stuff going on and nothing on my lid. I'm gonna take 
heard to get, which is like a deeper, warm brown. And I'm just gonna put it like out here. Oh my God, why am I making duck face? Did you see that? Oh my God. Wow, these browns are really nice. Honestly, I don't know if this is actually like any deeper than the other shade on the eye. I feel like it's kind of, sort of not. I guess it doesn't matter though. Okay, is that gonna be it for the browns? Maybe, it's possible. Um, let me do some shimmer though. Should I use my finger or should I use a brush? This brush looks like it has, I don't know, something dark. What look did I do that I used such dark colors? Goodness gracious. Okay, maybe, what is going on with this one? This one looks like it's got blue in it. All my brushes are filthy and horrendous. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just gonna take, ooh, you know what, I'm gonna swatch these shadows before I make any decisions. So I'm gonna take Squeeze Me, this one here, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. Okay, so this is definitely giving that kind of grungy, earthy vibe that I'm going for. Is that because the brushes were dirty? It's highly possible. Ooh, but that's very, very nice. I like that. Uh, now I'm gonna use the other shimmer. There's actually only two shimmers in this palette. Isn't that weird? And then there's like this pressed glitter in the middle. But I'm gonna use this shimmer here. I'm gonna pop it on my inner corner. Uh, hopefully that works. And then, uh, I don't know, I don't mm, really think that I need to do anything under the eye. Actually, you know what, maybe I do need to do a little bit of something under the eye. Just trying to get to the uh, actual fun part, which is going to be the graphic liner. Okay, that's a nice inner corner highlight. Um, let me run some brown under the eye. I'm gonna use this E20 from Sigma. I might just take Ground Crew. That was a really nice color and it performed really beautifully. I'm just gonna take a little bit of Ground Crew. But the reason that I wanna run some brown underneath is because I'm actually going to be kind of This is such a nice shadow. I'm gonna be um, doing this graphic liner situation uh, kind of off of the bottom of the eye, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm just gonna smoke this a tiny bit. If you've uh, been watching you know I don't love a super smoked out under eye because I feel like it makes me look like death but you know what this brown looks actually quite nice under my eye for whatever reason maybe because it's warm wow hmm revelations <laughs> or realizations I don't know <laughs> maybe I like warmer colors under the eye <laughs> okay, I don't know. I think that that looks pretty good. Do you think that that looks pretty good? Pretty okay? I think that's going to be it for the shadows. Now on to the really fun part. I've been filming for 18 minutes. <laughs> I'm probably going to wind up cutting a bunch of that out. But that's okay. We are on to the fun part, which is going to be the liner. I have a little glass of water here and this somewhat stained pink little liner brush. I don't want to take too much water and kind of overdo it. 
I'm gonna put this on the floor. So I'm just gonna go in gently. I'm gonna test this a little bit on the back of my hand. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not enough. Okay, there we go. That's definitely picking up more. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, and I hope, I hope that I don't mess it up. I'm gonna kinda take it like this. Ooh, I'm just, I'm just winging it. I'm just winging it. And I'm gonna kinda do a swirly. I can feel my eye starting to tear. Just a cute swirly little kind of pumpkin vine. Do you see that? It's a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. This brush, do you see how it's like, you see the hairs? They're like really not trying to cooperate right now. Don't know what to do about that. I tried to like swirl it. That didn't quite do what I needed. Okay, so that's like the first one. It's a little bit of a mess. Let's do another one. Have it come up like this. This is so hard because this brush is not coming to like a proper point. You know what, let's go up like this. I don't know, is that cute or is that awful? I've never done anything like this, you guys, so. This is just a brand new experiment for me. I'm gonna do one more little situation here. I just kind of bring it down like this. What do you think of that? Is that cute or is it stupid? I can't even tell. Does it give the impression of like cute pumpkin vines or does it just look dumb? Let's see if I can do an okay job on this side. Oh, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say it's like cooperating a little better on this side, but then it kind of proved me wrong a tiny bit. Did I talk about my blush, by the way? I'm using... Oh, that does look good. That looks way better on that side. Oh, ooh, that makes me hate the other side, though. <laughs> Wait, maybe I can fix the other side. Just with a little bit of tweaking. Okay. Um, so the blush that I'm wearing is from Odin's Eye. It's Warm Sun, which is like the orangey blush. And then the... Highlighter is the green highlighter from Odin's Eye. Um, blanking on the name right now because I'm like hyper focused on what I'm doing. Do I like that better now? Did that fix that a little bit? See, this is mad cute. That was what I was kind of hoping for for all of this. Whatever. You live and you learn. I'm getting uh, better as I'm going, you know? Kind of learning the technique. <laughs> oh gosh, doing this is making my eyes water. Isn't that annoying? I'm like barely doing much of anything and it's making my eyes water. Like, what the heck? And I'm like not even really touching near my eye. That is so cute. This is cute. This is turning out quite nice. Oh, my eyes tearing. Oh no, it's over. Okay, just one more. I had enough water on the liner that I like haven't really needed to add more. Um, but I think I might need to add a little more because it's getting a little bit hard to pick up and put down. Okay. Is this, is this cute or does it look completely insane? I think it's kind of cute, but also kind of completely insane. Okay. Okay, I think that's all that I'm gonna do with the brown. Um, let me just clean this a little and then I'm gonna go in with a little yellow 
And I'm gonna do like kind of leaves. Hopefully anyway, I'm hoping that I'll be able to create leaves. I didn't realize how like frayed and weird this brush was. You know what, maybe I won't use this brush for the leaves. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. liner brush. This one, because I love this one. I think, oh my gosh, there's eyeshadow all over my pants, what the heck. I think that this one will actually do what I want better than the other one will. I just need a little bit of yellow on like the end of this. You'll see, you'll see what I mean. Or you'll see me completely mess everything up. Equally possible ends. This yellow is very kind of light. Mm, let me see if I do it here. I'm trying to just put like little leaves. <laughs> I don't think it's translating though. They don't look like little leaves. It literally looks like I'm just lifting some of the brown, which is frustrating. And you can barely see this yellow on me. Huh. Not giving up on the yellow just yet. I'm just gonna put a few more little bits. They don't even look like leaves. But I'm hoping that with a little more effort, I'll be able to make them look, make them look more like leaves. I said muck, make them muck. I'm doing great. I'm doing really, really great. Mm. They're not really showing up on camera, which is bumming me out. Okay, so you can barely see that in any capacity, even in real life. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of maybe green. Maybe I'll put some green. And I'm just kind of putting it on all of the places where I put the yellow. Just, I'm actually kind of trying to make, make them have a little more shape by like specifically putting it where the yellow is. So if you look closely, there's like a little bit of yellow and a little bit of the green. Okay, so does that look pumpkin vine-esque? Or does it just look like I have weird squiggly lines with little green bits? I am not sure. <laughs> I don't know if I've achieved the end that I was looking for. But I mean, it doesn't look bad. So at least there's that. I mean, does it look bad? You tell me, bro. Like... <laughs> Okay, I've been filming for 32 minutes. I don't know if I did a good job. Let me know in the comments what you think. I truly do not know what to make of it. Is there anything else that I should be adding to this to make it more like mm, pumpkin picking or like pumpkin patch? Uh, like I get that the eyes have the orange, but I feel like I need to add a little more orange and I have like this kind of vibrant orange. What can I do with it though? That's the only thing. I just don't know where I can put it. Mm, should I just do like a wing? I just want to emphasize the fact that it's like supposed to be orangey and pumpkin-y. So I'm going to take some orange. Oh no, now I am going to need mascara. What do you think of that? Does that add to the pumpkin vibe? I think that that's cute. I think it's interesting. Now that I have some orange in my lashes though, I am gonna have to throw on just a little bit of mascara. So let me do that really quick and then I'll come back with the final look. 
Um, okay, so weird X-Files mystery. For the first time ever, this mascara has made my lashes kind of clump together weirdly. I don't know what's going on with that, so it like kind of makes my lashes look less full. Because they're more like sectioned off. I've never seen that happen before. Maybe it's because I'm getting to the end of the mascara, but anyway, I guess that's kind of it for the look. There's all orange on my hand now. And uh, yeah, I hope that you guys like it. I hope that you get that it's like pumpkin vibes. Like that was the goal. I hope it doesn't look too like vineyard like. That was why I wanted the leaves to be more yellow. Um, but they were just not coming out looking visible like at all when I was using the yellow. So I ended up using some green. And this is the result. So. <laughs> I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I I don't know. I just thought that it would be fun to do. Um, tune in on Sunday. I'm going to be announcing something that I'm going to be doing for the next month. My little kind of month-long project or whatever. Not really a project. That's like so dramatic. But my uh, my next sort of thing that I'm going to be doing. Also, I'm going to be celebrating one year of having this channel. I don't remember the exact date that I uploaded my very first video, but it was like the first weekend of October, if I'm not mistaken. So stay tuned for that. Okay, guys, I will be seeing you guys again on Sunday. I hope that you have a great week in the meantime. And if you're not subscribed, you should uh, subscribe. Anyway, have a great week. Peace.